Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a full face of ColourPop products and it's also in collaboration with four other ladies here on YouTube. So if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. done my brows because the brows are the one thing that I didn't buy from ColourPop because um, I don't use brow products a lot and so I just kind of wanted to save my money on that. I used the brow bar brow kit that I got from my BoxyCharm box. So this is great. I like to do this whenever I feel like I want a full face of makeup. Um, when I thought about what one brand makeup I'd like to learn more about, I knew it was going to be ColourPop because I knew it was um, budget friendly. It was something that I would be able to afford. And I'm so lucky that I am able to collaborate with Amanda, Sandy, and Janet on this whole one brand tutorial. They have great channels, similar channels as mine, but I like to say everyone has different personalities. I know Sandy is going through a whole no buy year and so she is there to really use up her makeup and I'm curious to see what her collection looks like. And then Amanda does reviews. She's so fun and entertaining to watch. And Janet does a lot of skincare and also indie brands and Korean brands like she gets a lot of products from different brands I highly recommend that you guys subscribe to our channel there's definitely something to learn from each of our channels okay so let's get started I've had a couple of days where I was able to use all of these ColourPop products that I bought and so I have some thoughts and opinions about it likes and dislikes so let's just get started I like to start off with foundation for my foundation I'm using the ColourPop no filter stick I love, love the packaging, by the way, guys. And I'm in the color Medium 110 Warm. And actually, this is like the perfect, perfect shade for me. It's not my favorite product because it kind of feels heavy on the skin. And so what I really like to do is just hydrate the face, hydrate the skin a lot so that the foundation actually glides on better on my skin. So I'm just gonna use this Spray All Day Rose Spray from Grace and Stella. This one I got from my FabFitFun box. Also find that it doesn't last long on my T-zone. I would say it lasts for a good four hours, but if I apply a mattifying primer or a pore filling primer, it lasts a lot longer. I would say this is like a medium coverage stick foundation. Um, but the only thing that I don't like, when you first apply it, you kind of feel like there's a veil of makeup on your face. Sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, is it clogging my pores? I would say that I need about two layers of this in order to fully cover my blemish um, scarring. First, I'm gonna put a pore filling primer. Does ColourPop have primers now? That's something that I forgot to really look up. So I'm using the Dr. Brand Pore Refiner and Primer. I gotta say, I love the convenience of a stick foundation. When I have liquid foundation, I always squeeze it on my hands. And so this one just goes directly to the face. And so it's just one less step to do. I find that it actually works way better with a makeup brush. Because it's such a heavier consistency, I feel like you're able to push in that product more. I'm so nervous, guys, because um, the girls that I'm collabing with does awesome makeup and I'm more of a natural glam person myself like I don't do wing liners often so I'm not the best or the expert at it I'm just pretty basic but definitely you know if you're that on-the-go mom a no fuss uh, kind of person and you want to simplify things and still look put together, natural look more elevated, then you belong to this channel for sure. I don't know if you can tell, but you can still see a little bit of skin on my nose. Some of my scarring from blemishes are still peeking through. So I like to layer a second layer of this. And now I'm using the sponge to kind of marry 
the foundation into the skin. Oh yeah, so right now with two layers on, I can definitely feel a little bit of heaviness on the skin. That doesn't really last long. It goes away after a while. So it's not too, too bad. If you have sensitive skin, acne prone skin, you might wanna be aware of that. But if you like medium coverage, this would be great. Next is concealer. This is not a recent buy. I actually did a video on this concealer showdown in a way between ColourPop and e.l.f. and ColourPop 1. So check out that video. You know, I did a major in-depth review of this concealer as well as the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This wand right here reminds me of my Urban Decay uh, No Weightless, what is it? Naked Skin Concealer. It's lightweight on the eyes, not as full coverage. Comment down below if you guys know whether ColourPop has an eyeshadow primer. Although, based on how good their eyeshadows are, do they really need an eyeshadow primer? So the next thing is powder. I love powder. I need powder in my life. I need it as part of my daily makeup routine. So I'm always looking for affordable powders out there. And so this one is from ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is in the color Translucent. I actually thought this was pretty small. I expected a bigger container. It looks like it's 0.5 grams. I'm gonna look it up online and see how many grams, but I don't think it's a whole lot. Thoughts about this powder? I really, really like it. Um, it really mattifies me nicely. It's not heavy. It's really finely milled. And you know me, I bake under the eyes. It's also very good at brightening. Okay, so I have my bake on. Did I say that I love this for baking, by the way? So it's great. Oh my gosh, it's so gloomy outside. I'm losing the light. Oh, thank God for video editors and filters. <laughs> so now that I have my bake on, so I normally go with the eyeshadow, but I'm so scared to do the eyeshadow. I'm like postponing the eyeshadow part. So let's go to the cheek. I bought the Super Shock Blush. So this is in the color Count Me In. I love this color. Very nice color. I want to say I've used this about five times already under different primers, different kind of skincare products underneath. I've also used this under different types of foundations, not just ColourPop. I love the sheen that it gives me, but I don't think it lasts very long. I mean, it is beautiful for the first, I wanna say, four hours. It totally disappears by the end of the day. And so I like to pile it on heavily on the cheeks in the morning, hoping that it can last longer, but, um, Mm, it doesn't really last and oh by the way this works best with a duo fiber brush it's a lot more smoother in the application because it can get a little patchy and drag a little bit onto your skin because it is a kind of like a wet formula here's what it looks like by the way that's the color right there. You know, ColourPop products are so affordable. But you have that kind of trade-off between price and longevity. It's not as long-lasting as other blushes that I've owned before, so that's the only downfall to this blush. Let's go ahead and do our highlighter. Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Lunch Money. And the color is perfect for my skin tone. It feels like wet sand. Surprisingly, I feel like it's a subtle highlighter. This is not like the blinding highlighters that, you know, I would expect from ColourPop. But that's okay. It's not super blinding where you're like a disco ball. This is actually my kind of highlighter. It's definitely perfect for everyday, you know, work or just everyday mom duties. If you're that type of person who's, you know, just kind of subtle in your makeup, this would work. If you want to layer it and you want more highlight, that will work too. Oh, but you know what? I would want to try highlighting right here. I think really lifts the brows, so that's nice. The one thing that I forgot is bronzer, so I'm gonna cheat and use 
this um, hula bronzer by Benefit. It's nothing new. Oh, I love it. It looks so nice on camera. This is in the color caramel. So let's cut those cheekbones. Although, you know, I find that I have high cheekbones and sometimes I don't really want to accentuate that. I feel like it kind of ages me a bit. So I like to bring it down a little bit more. That way I have, you know, like more fuller cheeks instead of like thin pointy cheeks, if that makes sense. I follow a Filipino actress. Her name is Heart Evan Evangelista or Evangelista. And um, she's one of those crazy rich Asians. <laughs> yeah, she talks about how when you're laying down your bronzer, it should just be the size of your thumb. So you don't want to bring it down too low and then just blend it out. I think that's good to know. I've been following it since. I like having that precision and placement, having kind of like a formula on where to put, you know, your makeup. It's different for everybody too, because if you have a different shape than everyone else, then it might not work for you. But in this case, it works for me. I guess this brush would be a good indicator. Only go down as much and then blend up. Now for the eyes. Okay, I'm so nervous about the eyes, guys. I don't know why, but let's just do this. Let's start with this pressed eyeshadow that I recently bought. And this is in the color Mambo. I love this, actually. This color is like the perfect crease shade for me. You know, ColourPop comes out with so many eyeshadow palettes. And... Every time they come out with one, I want to buy it. I love this eyeshadow. They're pressed eyeshadows. At least this one is really blendable. It's nice and smooth, creamy, highly pigmented. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow right here this purple eyeshadow and this is a palette that i kind of created maybe six months ago ColourPop had a sale and if you purchase like four eyeshadows you can have this palette for free or something like that basically you know me i always make sure that when i buy makeup it's on sale or it's something affordable and i love it because i got to get the shades that i really want that i always use so this palette is well loved i'll have the names of the colors in case you're interested in the description below i'm just deepening up the crease here with that dark purple or cool tone purple so i don't own a highlight shade so i'm just gonna use my highlighter for this Okay, next one. This is new to me. The ColourPop Jelly Much Eyeshadows. And this is in the color On The Fly. And it looks like this. Like a whip texture. It stays on the eyes a long time. And I love that it doesn't crease on my eyes. Ooh, look at that. It works better with your hands, but when i want to be precise i need the brush still what i like about it is it stays put there's a lot of folds on my eyelids usually it starts creasing but this doesn't so i love this jelly much formula i love the idea it's definitely shimmery but i feel like super shock shadows are a tad bit better than the jelly much just a tad bit so the Jelly Match eyeshadow is going to be my base, but really, I'm going to top it off with the Party of Five Super Shock shadow. And I love this color. This one has kind of a duochrome effect to it. It has kind of like a blue-purple shimmer to it, if you can see that. I hope it's showing up on the camera. I'm gonna raise the shimmer a bit. Ooh, can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that blue. I know normally I don't like shimmer above my crease. I think that is it for my eyeshadow. Definitely gonna do the bottom next. So back to the Mambo color. Just marry the bottom eyeshadow with the top. 
can't wait to see what all the other girls are doing at their channel. I mean, you guys have to go check it out. You don't come across one brand makeup tutorials often because it's so hard to collect like a whole face of one brand makeup. I mean, I'm lucky enough because ColourPop, I feel like is a an affordable brand. So after this, I'm definitely gonna watch all of the girls' videos because I wanna see what I can buy you know, or what they recommend. Taking off the bake, it's actually been super long. <laughs> this is new to me again, the Color Pop Cream Gel Liner. Love it. And this is in the color Joyride. This is definitely a very long lasting eyeliner. Before the gel eyeliner sets, I'm gonna put this under my eyes, just kind of blend it so the eyeliner isn't so harsh. You know what I wish I bought? I wish I bought a liquid eyeliner, like the brown one. I don't own a brown liquid eyeliner. I heard they're really great, but I forgot. I don't know if I want to stop there. I think I do. Let's stop there. Let's stop while we're ahead. <laughs> Am I missing anything? Oh, brow gel. I'm so glad I bought the brow gel from ColourPop. Very affordable. Very nice. I love the wand. I got the color soft black. I love the one. It reminds me of Benefit brow gel. Definitely fills in, combs through my brows. If you need a brow gel, color pop is the way to go. So I bought the color pop mascara because I know mascara is something that I need all the time. I use all the time. I don't use lashes often, and so I need a really good mascara. I wanna say this is kind of lengthening. It's good at separating, but it's still not my favorite mascara when it comes to volumizing. So that's one coat. It's not bad, bad but I think I have other favorites. Okay, let's go ahead and do lipstick. This is my favorite um, formula when it comes to ColourPop lipstick. Find your shade, get yourself one of these. Um, I am using the Still Crazy color. And I think it's a soft matte. I'll get back to you on that. I like this because it has this kind of purpley pink shade. Um, that I feel like would go well with my look. And then I'm going to do something that is unheard of, top it off with a satin liquid lipstick. <laughs> Just so I can show you guys, this is in the color Echo Drive. This is a perfect, perfect nude. You know, one thing to remember with ColourPop liquid lipsticks, they do kind of oxidize a bit. So when I'm looking for like the nudest that I can go for my skin tone, I get this. And I'm just putting this on the center of my lips because, you know, why not? <laughs> And the last step is, of course, their face setting spray. I got the mattifying one. This is the cutest, cutest packaging ever. I love the setting spray. It doesn't break me out. I've used it many times. I've got my lashes on. The only thing that I forgot to put on is this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And this has kind of like a unicorn lip gloss color. I had my daughter pick it out. Oh my gosh. It's like a bluish purple. There's really no intense tint or color to it. It goes on pretty clear pretty much, um, but it gives you that shine. I have to say it's not my favorite. It just feels heavy on the lips. It doesn't feel moisturizing. It's one of those like, you know, the hair sticks on your lips and you're like, blah, blah, blah. I don't like it. It's not my favorite. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna add more highlight in my inner corners and then that's it, I promise. Here's the final.
final look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this get ready with me or tutorial on a full face of ColourPop products i love how this look turned out all of the items that i've used are going to be in the description box below so please please check them out also check out all of the other ladies that are in this collaboration i'll have a picture of them here somewhere and the links to their youtube channel are going to be in the description box below and also pinned in the comments i just want to say thank you to all the wonderful ladies that have collabed with me i definitely feel like in this day and age it's hard to grow on youtube by yourself and to do it all on your own and that's really what i did last year and the growth was definitely so slow and i feel like there's strength in numbers and so i'm grateful for that support so please consider subscribing to all of the beautiful ladies that i am collabing with today or if you're interested in knowing about Hank and Henry, Jeffree Star, or the NYX products, definitely check out their channel because they are going to do a full face of makeup just like me here. I cannot wait to watch their videos as well. So that is it. If you like this video or learned something, please like, subscribe. If you're new here to my channel, I post videos once a week. Also comment down below if you'd like me to test another brand of makeup and do a full face on that and give you kind of a mini review on all of the products let me know down below it really helps me a lot when there's comments on my videos because it lets youtube know that it's an interesting video it's going to you know share it with other people out there so please take a minute or so to comment so yeah that's it i hope to see you guys back in my corner soon bye